Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, hi, my name is Yota. I am thrilled to have you here today. Today, I thought I would do my most used luxury handbags of 2018. I've been seeing this video going around on YouTube for the last couple of weeks, and I thought it would be a lot of fun to do. It's not a tag video, but it is a popular video, so it started me thinking, what were the most used bags of 2018 that I carried uh, on a regular basis. But before we get started, if you are new here and you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love for you to subscribe hit the subscribe button and also click that notification bell because each week I do upload a new video. So let's get started with the video. If you are familiar with my channel and you've been watching my videos for a while, I did upload my top used luxury items, but I haven't really thought about until now, what bags do I carry most on a regular basis? So I think this is going to be lots of fun and it wasn't too difficult because there are bags in my collection that I carry all the time. And I think it helps you reevaluate your collection and what bags are keepers and what bags you know you might want to get rid of that sit on the shelf so um I'm pretty happy with my collection right now. I do have a few bags on my wish list for 2019, but most of the bags I would say probably all the bags that I have right now, I feel like I will have for a really long time, but it wasn't difficult. And when I thought about what is the number one bag that I carry on a regular basis, it is this beauty. Now this is my Never Full in Epi Leather, and it's the medium size, and I carry this bag more than all of my bags combined. I have always loved a tote, a good tote, and I just love this bag. As a matter of fact, this is the bag that I'm carrying right now. I've carried this bag all week. I carry my iPad around in here. I just have tons of things in this bag, and it's a great work tote. It's great when I'm keeping my granddaughters and I have to carry lots of extra things with me. Um, and I love this bag because, um, the leather is so durable and it is a bag that I don't have to worry about if I get caught out in the rain. And I have been caught out in the rain quite a bit with this bag. No issues whatsoever. I love the hot pink interior. Now this bag is still on the website and available. And I just absolutely love this bag. And it doesn't, it's, it's just more, I don't have a, well, what am I trying to say? Um, it It is more structured than the Neverfull in the monogram and even the Demier e Bean. And to be honest with you, I'm quite over the Neverfull. You see them so much and I love them. I mean, they're great bags, but I have recently sold two of my Neverfulls out of my collection and I don't think I'm going to repurchase them, but I, because I don't like to have the same thing that I see everywhere I go. So, but this one is a Neverfull MM size, but you won't see the Neverfull and Epi Leather as much. And this is just a great bag. And as you know, the MM size is the perfect size for every day. And I just love this bag because it is all weather and carefree. So this is definitely Definitely by far my number one used bag of 2018. I've used it constantly and you can see, look at that gorgeous leather. If you are considering a Neverfull, and I would highly suggest checking it out in the Epi Leather. It's, it looks brand new and I've had this bag for about two years now and it's got the LV right here. It's very understated. I don't know if that's picking up, but it's very understated, and it's one of my all-time favorite bags and most used. Bag number two that I have used like crazy, and I haven't had this bag as long in my collection, but the amount of times that I've used this bag since I've gotten it, 
has surpassed many of the bags that I've had for a longer period of time, if that makes sense. And I'm almost embarrassed about it because I have raved about this bag and I have done so many videos on this bag, but it is probably my number two most used bag. And that is my Fendi Cruise logo backpack. This bag is amazing. It's also all weather. It has the pebbled leather and a little bit of monogram on the top, the pop of red, the gorgeous F logo, the skinny straps. It's the perfect purse backpack. And I love this bag to death. I'm thrilled that I got it. It wasn't a planned purchase and most of my bags I think about for a long time before I get them. But this was just a spur of the moment impulse buy that I got when I was in Greece this year, but I have not regretted it for a moment. And it has just been one of my most used bags of 2018. And I know I will enjoy this bag for many years to come. So if you are, are considering a backpack or a backpack purse, so to speak, I would highly recommend the Fendi Logo Backpack. We are to bag number three of my luxury collection, and it would have to be my Pouchette Matisse in the reverse monogram. I absolutely love this bag. I carry it all the time, and if you've been watching my channel for a while, it took me a while to warm up to this bag. I remember earlier when I started my channel, I talked about how I did not carry it enough and I was going to make an effort to do so. Well, now that I'm carrying this bag on a regular basis, I reach for it constantly. So I have really grown to love a cross body bag. And I always thought that I didn't like bags like that, but it is so convenient and so easy to carry. You can take the strap off and you can carry it as a top handle and use it for date night. I feel like this bag can be dressy. I've seen where many people say, oh, it's more of a casual bag, but I feel like it can be dressy. Take this little pom-pom off and, you know, take the strap off and you have a beautiful evening bag. So I feel like this bag is very, very versatile. I love the reverse monogram. I love that it's all weather. And if you've noticed, I have a theme going on here because I do love and prefer all weather bags because there's nothing worse than being caught out in the rain or bad weather with a expensive luxury handbag that you have to put under your coat. It's just, you know, not a good thing. So this is just a great travel bag. It's a great bag for shopping, just everyday bag. And this is my number three most used luxury handbag of 2018. Ready for bag number four? my Gucci Dionysus. This is in the small size with the red um, trim and I love this bag. I, I will admit that I don't really use this bag as an everyday bag, but if I'm using say my Neverfull in the Epi Leather and we go out that night, I'll reach for this one every time. So I think this is the most perfect bag for date night, or for, you know, to carry to church. I carry this one on a regular basis to church and I just love this bag. Now I've, I've seen and heard other YouTubers say it's a, you know, a trend bag and that, you know, it may not hold its resale value. Well, I really don't care because this is an everyday, or I'm trying to say, this is a bag that will always be in my collection. I adore this bag. As a matter of fact, I love it so much that I do intend to get one in the medium size, which I think would be more of an everyday bag. But I love everything about this bag. I love the look of it. I love, it's similar to the Pouchette Matisse in the sense that it has the accordion style opening. I love this in the red. I just, this is another bag that I got when we were in Greece. And I just think it's kind of an exotic bag. It's just gorgeous. And I love the chain. You cannot wear this um, crossbody. You can wear it a uh, double chain or a lot of times I'll wear it like this. But 
most of the time I, ca I carry it double chain. But this is one of my, I would have to say, one of my all time favorite bags. And I don't care if it goes out of style, I don't care if it holds its resale value, because I like what I like and I'll always love this bag and this is a forever bag in my collection and I will always reach for this time and time again and you know when we pay the amount of money that we pay for bags that are luxury handbags you know cost per wear is a very important thing and so I see myself carrying this bag for many years to come and one day I will pass it down to my daughter or one of my granddaughters or my daughter-in-law so this is just a beautiful beautiful bag and I carry it on a regular basis so if you are interested in this bag don't hesitate because it's an amazing bag now that we are to the end and my final bag, I did struggle a bit because there are several more bags in my collection that I do carry quite a bit. But to be perfectly honest, this one would probably be number five. And you've seen my, if you've been watching my channel, I've done reviews on this bag. I've raved about this bag. And it's a wonderful everyday bag. I absolutely love it. It's in the large size. And... There's a whole story behind this bag, how I ended up with the large size. I first ordered the medium size, which I think is probably the most popular size, but I have really grown to love this bag. I love the size of it. I love everything about it. And I just really enjoy carrying this bag. It fits so much. And, you know, there have been some talk that these bags will droop, and it probably will in time, but that really doesn't bother me. It just means that it's a well-used and well-loved bag. So this would have to be my number five most used bag of 2018. I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my most used luxury handbags of 2018. It was a lot of fun because it does help you evaluate you know your wish list and your future purchases and it's very important to when spending money like this on a bag to get something that fits into your lifestyle so it was a fun video to do and I think it's very beneficial okay so before I end this video there's something that I want to incorporate into my channel this upcoming year many of you have shown an interest in seeing my artwork so I'm thrilled I've always intended to incorporate it into my channel but now um, since I've had so many people show interest in it I thought maybe a couple of times a month that I would show you guys a few of my pieces that I have worked on or maybe my studio when I complete when we complete the studio we'll take a tour so I'm thrilled to show you guys and share with you my artwork if I were to have to make a choice between handbags luxury goods or paint brushes and paint and canvases hands down uh, it would be paint canvases and paint brushes because it is my um, passion in life. I love art and I'm thrilled to share with you guys some of my works. Okay, so for the first piece that I chose to show you guys, it's one of my most recent. It is the Girl with the Pearl Earring. I have recently um, finished this piece and if you're familiar with uh, this piece, it is Vermeer. It's a master copy of Vermeer's Girl with a Pearl Earring. And it is, I believe, a nine by 12 linen panel. And I plan to frame this. Now, when I complete my studio, I'm going to do a back wall of master copies. And that's my plan. Um, because I'm going to be teaching art classes out there and having paint night classes. So I thought it would be really interesting when I talk about art history to show some works of the old masters. So this is just my version of the girl with a pearl earring and I really love her. I think that this is really similar to the original size. I have not seen this painting or the original painting in real life I hope to one day but um, this is my version of the girl with a pearl earring if I have 
one other piece that I chose to show you guys, and this is one that I did about a year ago. And if you're familiar with the movie Edward Scissorhands, that is who I chose to paint. I absolutely love that movie. I love Edward Scissorhands. And so this is quite a large piece and it was so much fun to do. And here it is. And I'll just have to pick it up for you. Um, but I, I painted him, he's quite sad. And his scissor hands, the castle in the background to give it some perspective. And I just love this character. I love this movie and I was just compelled to paint him. As a matter of fact, I've had many requests to paint Edward and um, so I plan on doing more Edward Scissorhand paintings this upcoming year, but I absolutely love this one. He looks quite gothic, doesn't he? But I'll tell you a really quick story about him. I had his hair painted just all black and he just looked flat to me. So I added the blue highlights and it really made it pop. So this is one of my favorite paintings that I painted this past year. It was just so much fun. So. I'll stand back with him so you can get an idea how big he really is. So he is gracing my studio at this time and I really love him. And so that is two pieces that I've worked on this past year. So I hope you guys have enjoyed my list, my handbag, most used list, and also my artwork. It was a privilege to share my artwork with you, and I'm excited to share more in the future. Until next week, guys. Bye-bye.